So I found this game, Black Market Bowling for the PlayStation 2. But what makes it Black Market? Well, let's slap the game in and find out. Oh, it's just the name of the developer. But wait, I was hoping for illicit underground bowling, lots of drugs, shootouts, and gambling with your life. Or at least a motive jackal and some white holes. Approximately two people are going to appreciate that joke, and one of them's me. Oh well, let's at least see what this game does have to offer. The first thing you'll notice is that there isn't a dedicated campaign mode. You've got your open bowling where you can play alone against AI or versus up to three friends in a free-for-all or in teams. But seeing as I don't have friends, I'll never know what that part of the game is like. The main area for single-player content is in the competition section, otherwise known as the tournament section once you go into it. In challenge mode, you face off against an opponent, and once you beat them, you have the chance to face off against one of the unlockable characters. Beating them will let you unlock the character and their bowling ball. Match play is the tournament you'd expect. Win multiple games in a row against different opponents to the last one standing. Winning this unlocks night mode for each of the locations. And in shootout, you take on two people at once. Personally, I just call that a Friday. The reward for this is custom bowling balls. Each mode also offers different rewards when beaten in night mode, such as new outfits, more balls, and apparently a new graveyard centre with zombies. I would show you, but in the process of trying to unlock everything for the video, the game crashed and corrupted the save so it no longer loads. Nice. Oh well, let's just take a look at the characters. So you have the goth girl. And thus, you are defeated. The token black guy. I'll get my wild faked out. Oh, yeah. A military woman who has less strength than the male characters because 2005 sexism. A buff Russian dude. Ah, yes, I am a powerful man, and you are a loser. Actually, my grandma. Oh, oh, yes. Female featuring jiggle physics. Mwah, mwah. You're such a loser. Uh, I'll, I'll let the clip speak for itself on this one. Generic female number two. You know it. You know it. A Jewish mom. There was schmaltz on that ball, baby! The local school shooter. The is he gay or just European? Ball goes in, ball goes out, ball goes in, yeah! And most definitely not a movie reference. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And aside from the elusive graveyard that may or may not exist, thanks again for corrupting my savey piece of shit, there's six centres to bowl at, but the lane conditions don't vary at all, the only difference is the music and the aesthetic. Although I do have to ask, why is there a helicopter circling the high tower lanes? And what the hell is happening in Detroit? Zora, is that you? Now when it comes to gameplay, you'd think I would have a lot to say, but I don't. You move the left stick to move and the right stick to alter your aim. L1 and R1 dictate how much spin you put on the ball, and shooting is just a case of press the X button to go, press again to stop the power meter, press again on the way back to determine accuracy. If you've ever played a sports game before, this type of system is used a lot. Rinse and repeat, whoever scores the highest wins. It's not bad, I was expecting shovelware levels of poor controls, but this is pretty decent, and I think that sums up the game as a whole. It's nothing amazing, but it's not terrible. Hell, even the physics on the pin action is kind of realistic. I forward down lane. And look at this pin action. Oh. This game did what it set out to do. If you look at the other games Midas Interactive have published, you'll see they aim for budget titles. And this is exactly that. Stuffing groundbreaking, but it functions and there's enough content to keep little Timmy quiet for a few hours. It's the most 5 out of 10 game ever. So overall, I was quite surprised. I was kind of hoping it would be one of those so bad it's good deals, where we could slam it for just being shovelware, but it's not. But at the same time, you'll get bored quickly because there's nothing to keep you engaged. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Allow me to perform my algorithm obligations for the day. If you like the video, like it. If you have something to say, put it in the comments, good or bad, they all count as engagement. And if you want to see me play these games live before they turn into videos, I stream 3-4 times a week here on this very YouTube channel at 8pm UK time. See ya!